Hello everyone. Um, in this video, I'm uh, gonna teach you how to install Oracle Instant Client and on your Mac. So in order to do that, you just search Oracle Instant Client download. It would bring you to this web page, and here uh, you would go. To, uh, you need to know what is your max architecture so if it's apple silicon which is like m1 m2 m3 m4 whatever or it's a, if it's an intel based mac if you know it already just download the one that uh, suits you if not you don't know it you can just in your terminal uh, write uname m dash m it gives me uh, arm 64. this is warp that i'm using this is the application called warp uh, and I really suggest you guys to download it and uh, look in more into it. It's very powerful terminal for you. It gives you like it has an AI uh, completion and it it gives you so much uh, features that you can use. Um. Anyways, so the now uh, that I know I'm ARM sixty four, I go here download and then. Here are the packages. So I would download the basic package. I would download the SQL plus package. Um, SQL, why it doesn't download? Okay, SQL plus. And next one is SDK package. Just for the demonstration, you download whatever you need, right? So now that all of them are downloaded, what I'm gonna do is I would go to my downloads. I have them here, right? So what you need to do here is mount and install each DMG file that you have here. So let's install the basic one first. So how we would do that is we come to your terminal and we can actually bring this and take it up so it's easier to read and you would put hdutl hdi sorry util mount and you give the path to this dmg so i've done it before so that's why it's just suggesting me so i'm gonna go to downloads and here we have the basic so this is the one now this is what we are doing here is mounting uh, the dmg on our uh, uh, computer now we need to go to the volumes and to the mounted uh, uh, dmg file now that we are in this volume this path we would just install this bash uh, script that's it so now what we do is that we ins uh, we unmount it. In order to unmount it, we have to get out of this volume because right now we are technically inside that mounted uh, for DMG file. So if we want to uh, unmount it, we would get error because we are already inside this. So we have to get out to be able to remove it. So how we would do that is we can go to, let's say, to download, just gonna be there and hdi util unmount volumes and i'm gonna unmount the basic mac osr the one that we just installed unmounted successfully so now let's do the same thing for the sql plus sdk and the, the dmg file so if you want also what you can do is uh, you can right click on this and hold option and it gives you as a path name this copy this file as path name so now this is already copied in my clipboard so what I can do is here I can say hdi util mount by pasting it I'm actually say uh, with pasting what I uh, copy there the path name of that file so that's another way to do that it's which is which might be easier so as you can see like uh, already my uh, the warp the application i told you knows what i wanted to do so it just uh, 
offering me to go to the volumes of this specific one that we installed now. So we're gonna go there. And uh, what we do here is installing that bash script. Now, we go to downloads, HDR util, unmount, volumes, and scroll plus. Now, again, the same thing, but for the, uh, the other, um, what was it called? SDK package. So what we do here, right click, copy as pathing, HDI util mount, and no, this is not right, this is it. Now what we do is we go to that volume, as you can see this is SDK, so yeah, go there, and install the bash script. Perfect. So now we are done. Now we just go again to, let's go to home directory and then HDR util, unmount, volumes, install SDK. Perfect. So now we unmounted them successfully. What we do here is we need to move, as you can see in my downloads, this was created. So this instant coin was created and we need to move this to a permanent location. What I suggest is you can just put it in your home directory and like create a new folder here. I don't know, call it like Oracle. And this way we have the Oracle uh, file in a permanent folder. What you can do is either create a new folder here or whether since I like to use the uh, CLI, what I do here is I'm gonna just say Magdir and call it Oracle. So now I have Oracle here. And what I do here is I move what downloads the instant file directory to where to Oracle. As you can see now, I don't have any, uh, I don't have that file there and I successfully moved it here. So now that's how we install the Oracle and we move them to the permanent location. Now we need to configure the environment uh, variables. In order to do that, we need to uh, at the following lines, which I'm gonna give it to you in the description below or in the GitHub director, uh, in GitHub rep uh, repository that I'm gonna share with you, the uh, what are the line that you have to put there. In order to over open your shell profile, you can write code and uh, dot this HRC or if you are using bash profile, it would just be like code dot bash profile, or you can just check what is your, where is your shell profile technically and open that. So the SHRC for myself, that's my, in my case. So when you open that, you go to the end of your file and add these in your um bash profile so we need to add these files in order to give the version uh, folder like dynamic linking and all that so once you add this this is as you can see the path name to this so again you can hold option and call for this path that we ha have and just put it there. As you can see, it's the same thing. Uh, so we put it there and just the rest of this, good. And you save it. Once you save it, you close it and you go here, you, you just say source ZSHRC to reload your bash profile and that's it. So now, in order to run, uh, verify the installation, we would run this 
SQL plus, uh, which is not, not this one. I'm gonna, uh, it's in my clipboard. There we go, this one. So this is the, file, the uh, thing you would put. So you need to write your username here uh, forward slash your password here at sign forward slash forward slash here you would put to your put your host here you would put your port and at the end here you would, would put your service so this is somewhere that uh, like uh, i can uh, test my sql plus i'm a seneca college student at this time so by running this hopefully yes there we go we got signed in and that's it. So very successfully we installed SQL Plus and we are good to go. Thank you so much for watching this video.